sing through my stem When we paint the sinking vessel walls That pierce my crystal eyes Can't you take me In the likeness of your silken crystal sky Shaded by a woven form When you run my reaching fingers all around your whispering ears Silhouette me to the brush strokes of your Inside your spangled shell For my time is swiftly sliding down The rainbow of my youth Won't you make me While our pedal wheels Can tell us all the truth Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to play Girly from Sophisticated Beggar. I've always had a soft spot for this one. I mean, it's not really one of Roy's best songs, um, but uh, I don't know. I just love this one. It's really sweet and heartfelt, I think. And Another thing about this song is that it reminds me a lot of some of Jethro Tull's acoustic songs. And this mostly has to do with the guitar technique. On this song, Roy uh, picks a melody while gently strumming uh, some chords, which is something that Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull uh, uses a lot. For instance, only solitaire. You see where I'm trying to get? And another one is Nursey. And that reminds me that Ian Anderson has acknowledged Roy as one of his main influences. And I think that that influence uh, shows up uh, more on the guitar technique than in anything else. But to, to get that you must go back to Roy's first albums. Uh, like uh, Sophisticated Beggar and Gengi Smith, I think those were the albums that really influenced um, Ian Anderson. Well, anyway, I am diverging and let's get on with the guitar lesson. Gurley uh, has two guitars. Uh, the main guitar is played by Roy Harper. I'm not sure who plays the second guitar, maybe it's Roy himself, but I'm not going to go through the second guitar. I'm just going to show you how to play the, the main guitar. So the main guitar is in standard tuning with a capo on the 3rd fret. And basically the song uses uh, four chords. G, 
with these two fingers on the first two strings C and for C you just have to move these two fingers from the 6th and 5th strings to the 5th and 4th strings so that these two strings are always ringing then you have D and E minor at some point the song has uh, like four verses but the first one is instrumental on the first verse the instrumental one the the melody that's picked on the strings while gently strumming is slightly more elaborate and the timing in which you change a few chords is also slightly different um, so I'll start with the instrumental verse and it goes like this start by picking the melody on the 6th string so you are in the G shape and you do it like this there's a hammer on on the 5th string then you change to C do this descending progression to G again so on, on the fifth string now comes this uh, run up to D I think and it starts on the fifth string so you're still in G on on the fifth string then fourth string open another hammer on on the fourth string second fret and when you hammer on the fourth string on the second fret you have to lift your little finger from the first string so you are like this first string is open now because next you are going to use your little finger for bending the fourth string you bend it down like this and now you are in D so just the notes of this run up can do this hammer-on on the third string so let's do this first part slow second part you go back to G so here you introduce a hammer-on on the fifth string instead of doing like you did at the beginning you do and again you go to C okay it 
this is the same and here you do hammer on on the fourth string okay E minor and you finish in D so you lift these two fingers from the chord and here you add the little finger on the third fret and then before the finish you add the little finger on the third fret like preparing for the G and C chords that come after this one here here you hammer on these two fingers on the fifth and fourth strings for the, the C chord So you start in G C G D G C For the rest of the song, the three remaining verses, which have vocals and the second guitar playing along, this melody is much more streamlined. Uh, so the chords are basically the same, but it goes like this. Oh girl. So, as you can see, the, the melody is much more streamlined, not as complicated as on the, the first instrumental verse. Let me try to show it to you, the differences. So, you start in G, just simple strumming. The same with C. Oh, girl, with your brown eyes. The run-up doesn't include the bending, so it's much easier. Then the second part is even easier. Will you paint the sunken 